Hello everyone, in this video I will be explaining how to construct the Huffman tree and determine the code of a set of character and their frequency of occurrences given. Okay, so we will consider an example. But uh, what is this Huffman coding? It is a lossless data compression algorithm. What it does is the most frequent characters gets the smallest code and the least frequent character gets the largest code. The procedure is like this. It will be extracting two nodes with the minimum frequency from the given set and then it will be combining those two nodes which is having minimum frequency and form a new node with, by taking the frequency as the sum of the individual frequency of that particular node. So, two minimum nodes will be taken and the sum of those two nodes frequency will be added up and that frequency will be taken as the frequency of the new node. Okay. So, here an example is given in which a character A, B, C, D is uh, given and the frequency of occurrence of those this characters are also given 20, 10, 10, 30, 30. So, in the first step what we have to do is uh, we will be taking out this uh, values and arranging it in a uh, sorted manner okay so we we know that first we need to take the minimum values okay so let me just uh, sort it b c then a then d and e because we know that b is 10 c is 10 a is 20 d is 30 and e is 30 so all the nodes are now in sorted manner now what we'll be doing is we'll be taking two nodes which is having minimum frequency and combine it together so this b and c we will take together because those are the having frequencies 10 and those are the minimum frequency so 10 and 10 we will take and combine it together by taking the sum of this one so 10 plus 10 is 20 so we'll be getting 20 and then what we do we will be having the children as b and c we have the children b and c next one or uh, when you see this one okay i'll just take down that one and write it here we have 20 we have 30 and we have 30 this 20 is corresponding to a this is d and this is e okay so this one now we have to take the minimum from this uh, so we know that this 20 is minimum and this one is minimum this 30 both are uh, more than this 20 so minimum 2 will be this uh, the first 220 here so what we have to do is we have to merge this two nodes and form a single new node that is at, uh, by taking the sum of the values of this one that is 20 plus 20 we'll be getting it as 40 okay so 40 is the new node okay and uh, the left child will be taking it as a okay and right we'll be taking this one here this 20 and b and c so that is our okay, this one i'll just this is b and c now we have a uh, next next we we should see what are the values present the next two minimum values we need to see here 40 now we have taken uh, we have taken this node we have taken this node now what is remaining this 30 and 30 okay so here we have this 30 and 30 let me write this here 30 and this one is 30 okay this is d and this is e okay now the next two minimum values we need to take so one minimum value is this 30 the second minimum value is this 30 so we have to combine this two and form the new node so 30 plus 30 will be making it as 60 okay i'll be getting it as 60 then the node values will be d and e here and on left side we have this 40 okay we have this 40 then a the same thing i'm just writing it again b c okay so this uh, we have this two now 40 and 60 we have so we have to combine this to form the uh, new node so 100 will be having 100 so 100 is our new value then on left side we have this 40 and then a then we have this 20 and then we have b 
and then we have C on right side and 100 on right side we have this uh, the whole thing this one that is 60 the node is 60 and on left side we have D and on right side we have E okay so now if you see we we are left with only one node here so this is the final Huffman tree okay so we have to do this process till we reach the single node as a root node so this one the tree which we got here this is our Huffman's tree Huffman's tree now how will you find the code okay so for finding the code of this characters what we have to do is on the left side we have to assign value zeros and on right side branch we have to keep one so this is right one here left side we have to keep zero right side it should be one and here left side it should be zero right side it should be one okay so now we have just put the codes here on left branches we have to assign zero and on right branches we have to assign one now see here all this uh, characters a b c d e are all present as the leaf nodes now if you want to find the node uh, this uh, code of a how will you do that you you have to see start from this root node go up to this a so from root node when you are traveling up to traversing up to a you are getting zero zero so the code is zero zero now b now we talk about b we start from this root node we'll be starting from zero will be starting from zero then we'll be coming we'll be coming like this right so zero then one then zero so we'll be getting the code as zero one zero okay and now we have c c the code is when we are coming traveling like this so it will zero one one now coming on to d will be traveling from the root node then d is like this so one zero one zero and what about e you have you will be traveling like this from the root node so it is one one so one one so this is our Huffman code code for the characters okay so uh, you could easily find the uh, the codes from this um, particular tree Huffman tree okay by assigning the left branches as 0 and right branches as 1 and when you trace back to that particular when you trace from root node to that particular node leaf node you will be getting that code for that particular character okay so this is how you can form the Huffman tree and Huffman code so one more thing you need to remember is that whenever uh, suppose two values are matching like this uh, this D and E so if if one more is there suppose I have one more as 30 then I can choose any one of that and form the tree but only thing is you won't be uh, the tree won't be unique you will be getting a different uh, tree for the Huffman tree will be different if you are depending upon which which uh, two nodes you are selecting first the tree branches will be changing okay so this is how you can uh, form a Huffman tree uh, from a given set of values and here if any uh, uh, word is given what you have to do is a particular word is given you count the number of times a particular um, a character or the alphabet is repeated form a table like this and then arrange it into the sorted manner and then form the Huffman tree and once you form the Huffman tree from the Huffman tree you can easily find the Huffman coding so this is how you can uh, find the coding Huffman code for each character okay hope you understood how to find the Huffman tree and how how to find the code for a particular character thanks for watching thank you